assignment time okay so for this assignment you have already seen that I zipped up the project in the last video that's exactly what I want you to turn in is that zip file what you're going to be graded upon is the organization here in hypershade you're going to be uh, graded upon the organization of the overall scene uh, how well is it that did you follow did you rename everything uh, when I go into window hypergraph hierarchy is things named here and is there only one thing in there how big the file was you're gonna have two pieces here to juggle so both should be textured so you're gonna have your bottom jaw also that shouldn't be a problem because you know you probably UV'd them at the same time which is like I did it's just I left the bottom jaw out of the equation for this video alright very nice um, so also uh, you'll notice that one on the key or three on the keyboard smooths this so you can leave it in smooth preview if you want that's fine one will give it the harsh look and I think that's it is just make sure everything's super organized before you zip that project up okay enjoy the lesson um, this is this was a very fun lesson for me because you know it's something that I like doing I like you know putting all the maps together onto an object making it look good and then porting it over even to a game which would be fun to do but it's falling outside the scope of ZBrush a lot right here if you if you want to know how to do that stuff you know on youtube.com slash can mushrooms you should check out my unity game engine tutorials where I show you how to port it out of Maya into a game engine and you can you know have it rotate around and all that good stuff so can mushrooms dot or youtube.com slash can mushrooms I think I got another one that's called ZBrush 2 unity which shows you how to present your work inside a game engine that's also on YouTube Alright, enjoy, and then on to the next chapter.